welcome back to my channel and I'm here today with some of the basic secrets of interior styling. So being holy is on the way, I thought to make something on colors. So I'm here with you today to let you know about how to use uh, colors in your home decor, in your home styling and on your uh, entire interiors. Either it's a living room, drawing room, bedroom, kids play area, kitchen and everything. So let's get started. This video will be in parts because there are a lot many colors but I'm not going to cover each and every color. I'll just bifurcate into warm colors and cool colors. So let's get started with warm colors first. Uh, okay, uh, you'll be amazed to see I'm going to start with red which I'm wearing right now. So red, yeah, everyone is wondering like red, nobody uses red at home. Why she's talking about red? But yeah, I have to talk about red because red is one of the most important color. So its strength of character makes it difficult uh, color to live with and uh, most of the people find it too heavy or uh, too oppressive to have this color in home. And there are therefore uh, different varieties of red also like burgundy, wine, terracotta and pink is also a hue of uh, red color. So red is the most uh, physical of all the colors and it has the uh, most strongest wavelength and which means that it uh, affects the entire human physical body. Okay. So red causes stimulation and uh, that has an effect on our heart. Okay. It raises the pulse and blood pressure and that is why it has a warning effect for us and red, red color strengthens our whole body as a whole and uh, it affects our uh, entire system with adrenal glands and helping us becoming more strong and uh, building up our stamina okay this is the positive side of the red let's come to the emotional side of red as well so emotionally red, red is linked to anger and short temper and uh, for this reason uh, we should try to make uh, we should try to make sure that uh, people who are uh, impatient and frustrated do not uh, surround themselves with red and this will only make the problem worse okay so this also applies to who also suffer from uh, any ailment uh, which uh, uh, which causes heat in their body and uh, bodily system and entire system of their body such as high blood pressure and uh, fever and uh, rashes or itchy skin and uh, they too uh, will find that red environment will aggregate their uh, conditions. Okay, So these people also should avoid using red in their homes. Uh, red works best in places which requires, uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, which requires warm and uh, physical actions and uh, a cold room, a passage or a corridor or a playroom uh, would all be the best options to use red as uh, the wall colors or the room color. Let's come to our next color and this is also a very strange color you people would not uh, understand but uh, uh, I'm going to try that people should try to use this color as much as possible because uh, this is something really important to have in our homes and uh, uh, let's come to the point uh, the color which I'm talking about is orange <laughs> so orange is made up of red itself and uh, which has a physical stimulation and uh, Yellow, the mental simulation. Yellow and orange are uh, syn synonym type of colors. And so that is a favorite of people who live close to nature and earth as, as well as the designer. So it is one of my favorite as well. And uh, if we say it is a color related to uh, the... This is a color related to something very vibrant. And uh, most people do not like orange in their environment, although it may be just the color... Uh, they need for this reason a color therapist should be able to uh, find a tone of orange which is acceptable like it's not about the bright vibrant orange you have to uh, use uh, in your home you can use rust terracotta apricot peach or all such have orange hues and orange colors and which will give an uh, orange glow and reflect uh, reflect the orange uh, refreshness you can use that and it will reflect the positive and uh, lively qualities of uh, this color okay so orange has a strong and beneficial effect on the digestive system of the human body okay and so it makes a good color for a dining room uh, or uh, you might have seen in many restaurants people are using orange as their chair colors or uh, uh, chair uh, cushions they are using uh, 
sitting cushions and back cushions they are using as uh, orange only so if we come to wood wood is also a brown color and it is also uh, uh, in line with the uh, of the orange hue so wood and orange uh, hue will all make together in a dining room you might have seen many restaurants using orange as a wall paint as well orange in a dining hall as well okay so that is why uh, this is the reason this no this not even a single designer will tell you but i am telling you this right away that orange is the best color to use in kitchen or in a dining room because kitchen where you cook the food it will generate the positive energy and it will uh, give the refreshing uh, refreshing kind of environment wherein you can make a good uh, good food and uh, this is something which i would like to share with you um, if we say a candles glowing in an orange room and yellow room it will make people people uh, feel warm secure and cozy so that is why also emotionally also orange is a very good color to use so another color which i'm talking about is again uh, related to orange i've started with orange and yellow so let's just come to yellow color so yellow is the coolest color and uh, closest to sunshine you are already aware it is uh, uh, regarded as uh, a kind of uh, happy color sunny happy color <laughs> so yellow wavelength stimulates the brain and making us alert clear minded and clear headed and decisive okay it is good for starting as uh, it is it improves the memory or for people who need to expand their um, ideas and views of life can use yellow color and i'm not talking about here only yellow if i'm talking about i'm talking about yellow hues as well okay so yellow is linked to the solar plexus and stimulates uh, the liver the gall bladder so we need to uh, be very careful that the yellow we use in decor uh, does not make us feel queasy uh, so uh, sometimes as i mentioned it stimulates the brain so in study room you can use but if uh, there are some conditions also where you cannot use and uh, the pure yellow color you have to mix a white color within the yellow so that it will give a cream shade also and uh, give you a cozy feeling so stick to golden yellows and clear primrose and yellows and buttery creams and be careful that uh, the color uh, uh, the color does not uh, what do you say become tinged with green or turn muddy should not be in such a way because that is a very dull color and will make your room dull as well and uh, it will affect your brain as well so uh actually i will come to green but let me just share with you because if you mix yellow sometimes uh, if you will mix with some other uh, color it will give a lime green color as well okay so don't use lime green lime green is a difficult color to live with and actually has a detrimental effect on both your physical and emotional uh, health okay uh sickly yellows and greens are associated with emotions such as jealousy and why and greed so these colors these kind of hues should be avoided like i'm talking about uh here specifically with lime green and uh what do you say sickly yellows like uh, pale shade of yellows okay there has been a fair amount of research uh, uh, has been made upon the color yellow and uh, researchers uh, came to a conclusion not exactly conclusion but what do you say it has been uh, yeah a kind of uh, conclusion or a result like uh, 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 on color yellow that it has not a very good environment for uh, humans being using entirely yellow color okay so it has been suggested no uh, that from researchers that uh, it will create uh, Uh, irrational behavior even violence and nervousness so uh, if you have a bit of uh, fractious family environment and uh, you have a yellow in your room so change it now because this may be the cause okay so if we go to a softer room uh, if you want to make a softer room i mean no not much vibrant and uh, exclusive yellow color to be used you just go with the much better way of yellow uh, mix with the tint mix with uh, uh, contrasting colors or complementary colors for example use a hue of uh, yellow add white to it so that it will become creamy that yellow you can use also if you are using complete yellow uh, then uh, try to use uh, 
uh, what do you say uh, complementary color for yellow uh, the complement for example the complementary color for yellow is violet so use violet uh, uh, violet also along with yellow it will make your room uh, stabilize and uh, it won't affect that much it won't give that negative effect uh, towards the human body okay so if we say how to use violet violet is very vibrant color and very dark color then uh, yeah uh, if uh, let's say for example if you are having a wall which is of yellow color you can use upholstery as violet hues uh, like mauve and purple and and uh, all such uh, violet uh, colors you can use wherein uh, it will be complementary with the walls okay so you won't be able to uh, i mean it's a contrasting color so it will be very easy for you to give i mean uh, the entire focus will not be on the yellow color it will be stabilizes with the violet so the combination will look to all together will look good and will appealing to the eyes okay so this is what exactly the yellow uh, how it should be used come to uh, a different color which again i'm wearing that is green so this is a hue of green um and uh, i'm talking about green today this is also one of my uh, favorite colors and uh, if we talk about green then everyone knows it uh, stimulates nature and it emulates nature and it is a color found midway in the spectrum if you take a spectrum of colors it is found in the midway and uh, that is the reason it is having a properties of balancing and calming effect on us okay so it is neither warm nor cold and uh, it is a color of the heart chakra so that means the good for uh, it means it is good for heart whether physically or emotionally so it's a comfortable lazy color it gives uh, one of the feeling of calm and space this is fine uh, if the color is clean and bright but uh, when the color is muddy dull or olive green if you will use then uh, yes this is a complete no because it indicates decay withering or being a verge of death and uh, unassertive and uh, something like uh, plants like uh, if you have seen dried leaves and it has fallen from plants what a dull green color it will look like no it will look like that so it becomes non descriptive or uh, it also becomes depressive and expresses narrow mindedness and uh, lack of imagination and uh, absence of love for life and rather like a withdrawal so if you mix green with blue that is turquoise okay blue plus green is turquoise so it transform the green to a cooler refreshing color like uh, the appearance of morning and uh, this color will have a calming and soothing feel and uh, is especially good for combating situations and environment where there is a lot of heat and uh, pressure so think of very hot uh, uh, very hot countries or very hot con uh, weather countries and imagine the sea it has a lovely appealing and sparkly refreshing feel okay so same way uh, this will work so red orange uh, is its contrasting or complementary color for green so which when added in small amounts will help focus uh, attention and give off an uplifting energy so turquoise used a paint wall gives the feeling of larger space and uh, a calming appearance uh, your uh, wall will look your room will look more larger and uh, as i mentioned complementary colors uh, complementary uh, color for uh, green or turquoise is uh, red or orange so you can same way you can use some kind of upholstery to balance the effect or bal balance the coloring in the room okay so uh, for this video i am going to stop here now next video part 2 will be on uh, different color schemes and i'll be talking about how it affects on your physical body and emotionally as well and what kind of colors you can use in which rooms okay so thank you everyone stay tuned